At the end of tonight's Bedford School Board meeting, parents held up signs calling on the superintendent and high school's dean of students to resign. They both have lost the trust of our community. Former guidance counselor Christy Torbick admitted to sexually abusing a 14-year-old boy in Exeter. She worked in Bedford before those assaults. At her sentencing earlier this month, people spoke on her behalf and wrote letters of support, including Bedford's dean of student services at the high school. The superintendent said he was part of the decision and felt obligated to provide information during a court hearing, but says he realized it was a disservice to the victim. This is a black and white issue. There's no gray area. You either support students or you support admitted child molesters. And our children have to be able to trust our administrators and their counselors. The fact that she was there to support a sexual predator is appalling. It's, it sends a terrible message to the students, to any victim of sexual assault, and she's not doing her job as the dean of students. During tonight's meeting, school board members reviewed district policies on how people can file complaints and talked about new ways for them to give public comments. We have people here who want to engage with us and we have to find a way to do that properly. I think it's important that whether we define it legally as a complaint or not, that we're hearing from everybody that wants to speak to us. The district is investigating the controversy, and tomorrow the school board is holding a closed-door meeting to discuss a personnel matter. We understand the board has to figure out what to do to hear everyone's voice, and we'll see how they go forward with it. In Bedford, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.